Right folks, there's Sutton Chinny. I just seen Alberta at a distance further over at the battlefield. Seen her in the car park. There's the church, it's not far now, I'm going to go and see it. Looks far, doesn't it, when you do that? Right, I've just walked up a big hill, up the gated lane. Alberta's over there. I'm just going to head this way now for a little while. Um, Mark Bosworth's back there. I've done quite a massive walk. I've been walking um, for three and a half hours anyway. Mainly, well, I haven't really sat down, so I've been walking since I got out of that car, out of the camper van this morning. It's warming up quite nicely. So what I thought, I got the time. I don't want to let, use this day as a driving day as such. But of course, when you've done a big hike and then have to drive, it's a bit tiring. But um, day trips, I do it. I would, I should take regular breaks. Right, I'm hoping this is recording. Yes. Right, we're on our way to Sutton Ch Chutney. It's called. And the church there is supposed to have been the battle church. So they probably, a lot of them probably would have gone there to pray before the battle. I mean, I don't know if they did. The only thing I think, when you ask people how far, you know, they go, oh, I don't know. No, they're, they're not, they don't say, look, it's a mile and a half, which you can roughly work out, won't take you a good half hour, maybe two. It just depends. We're coming to the road now. I know if I turn right here, it'll take me back to the battlefield. But the church is very close now. I probably could have even driven Alberta. The beautiful English countryside, everyone. That's a nice little lane to take somebody for a cycle or a child. So the church can't be far now. Oh, I've got to go down into the, um, just down there a little bit. I drove up here, to, I've been up this road a couple of times down in Alberta. I've never really located. I've never really located whether this church had a car park. It's got a pavement. That's good, isn't it? You could probably walk all the way back to the battlefield on here. So this is um, a shorter visit away this time. Um, I managed to do quite a lot despite the rain, but I did miss the evening walks. So really from six o'clock onwards, until six in the morning, I was stuck in the van for 12 hours. But I did have telly. But um, sleep was very bad last night. First night, I slept all right. I got up at half past five and I was on the bus by seven yesterday to go into Leicester. And uh, today, well, today I'm um, making up for a lot, bit of lost time because of the rain and the expensive campsite because I, I do belong to a caravan club but they didn't have one close enough to be quite honest and I, what it is I haven't had to drive Alberta anywhere she played up a bit this morning she played up a bit this morning uh, oh, there's a church I presume it's a church it might be a house might not be the church. <sighs> yeah, I can see a sign now. So, um, I haven't had to um, drive Albert or anywhere. She's just come straight up the motorway, parked her up 
everything has been at hand. And that might not be a church. Oh yes, yes it is, I can see a cemetery. That looks like a cemetery there. St. James's Church. Well, there was probably is a car park. Norman and had a bit added on the top. I'll just do a bit of more videoing and then I'll stop. and look around the graves in a minute.